buildup of perspiration and bacteria underneath the mask. All right, so I see all of the stuff you have there on the table. You have some quick remedies, um, essentially for people who are prone to summer breakouts, really with or without masks. What can you tell us? So you want to be sensitive to what type of skin you have. So we have three cleansers here. Um, one is a more gel-based cleanser that has some glycolic acid in it, this Mario Badescu one. Then we have more of a creamy cleanser here in the middle, this Tolerian one that's fantastic. And then uh, the Estoderm one on the end, what I like about that one is it's creamy, but when you mix it with water and use it on your face, um, you get more of like a foam. Are there ways to treat the masks themselves to minimize um, issues? And, and also, is there a fit that can minimize irritation. Yeah, so we have three different mask types here. Um, and what I like about all of these is depending on your facial shape or your skin type, you can pick one that goes right behind your ears, which is nice, this one from Banana Republic. We have this one in the middle that you can avoid the ears um, all together and go right behind your head. And then we have a light one here uh, that can actually fit underneath your clothes and it's made of mesh, so very breathable. Dylan um, made a comment the other day that it's challenging for her when she runs outside and it's getting hotter. Um, with her mask. What do you say to people who are trying to exercise outdoors, especially if they have irritation or maybe to minimize moisture buildup? Absolutely. So be thoughtful about the uh, actual material that the mask is made of. Um, also, there are some things, for example, if you do get some breakouts, you can apply these acne dots right underneath the mask. So that's really nice. You can use them overnight. So they have salicylic acid in them. And then if you do get some irritation, there are some things you can prep your skin with. So this calendula one is fantastic. You can use it on the bridge of your nose, behind your ears, just to create that nice barrier so you're not getting um, as much of that redness. And can you, you know, quite often when you put blemish cream on, I remember, especially before a mask, you're trying to hide it. So with yeah. that, you just put it on there and it's okay. I guess just kind of cover it up and let yeah. it sit yeah, on. Yeah, cover it up. That's what's nice. You can actually hide these underneath the mask as, as opposed to before. You'd have to put them on and wear them around during the day. <laughs> well, before I let you go, I can never talk to a dermatologist without talking about sunscreen. I continue to learn my lesson that we all need to use sunscreen. Um, obviously, it's still a must, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sunscreen is still a must. And we have uh, here this great one, which acts as a BB cream. So you get a little bit of color protection and also some coverage in this one. And then also, I didn't want to let you go without talking about the fact that you have to wash your masks. Mm -hmm. So you've got to wash them. Don't wear the same mask day after day. That also leads to the mask me. And then we have some great facial wipes here. This one is made by Lauren Napier. Um, and her tagline is there's beauty in actually taking it off. So, for example, if you do want to go on a run, like you were saying Dylan does, and you want something quickly to wipe your face down, this is fantastic. And last but not least, what about you? Like, do you keep your, still wear your makeup even with a mask on on top of it? I think a lot of people were wondering, is it too much under there? Should we be free? You know, what know. So it's, it's actually complicated. It's a loaded question. Um, because for a woman of my age, I actually do need to put on some makeup underneath that mask. I can't really tend to it unless it's on the weekends when I'm seeing patients. I like to have a little bronzer or something on. Uh, so it's not a strict and fast rule that you have to not wear makeup underneath your mask. Some of us really uh, feel like, like we need to. So I still do it, but make sure you're washing that mask and you're washing your face morning and night. Well, I have a feeling people are at home taking notes, taking pictures <laughs> of the screen. So I just want everybody to know we have everything for you. Thank you, Dr. Angela Lamb. We put all of the information on our website at thirdhourtoday.com. All right, don't go away. When we come back, we have a special She Made It.